Okay, so now let's bring in our G code that we processed into the EtherCut UG and actually run the part. This part of the, the process is actually going to be the user interface for the CNC itself. Um, don't be too confused by this. We Up here, uh, we can zero our X, Z, Y. We can reference X that will auto square the gantry. Um, we can uh, uh, turn the torch on and off from here. We can turn off torch eye control. We can put it in manual. Um, if we have a screw up in here, we can hit set next line where our screw up is. We can visualize our tool path here, and I'll show you that in a minute. And we can change our feed rate override. We won't even get into these outputs, but we have the possibility to add a router, uh, drill, an engraver, uh, 3D printed, a lot of different things to our machines because they do hold some very serious accuracy. Um, and then over here, um, we have our buttons to run, feed, hold, and stop. Now, if reset is not a solid green, you'll get no motion out of your machine. Make sure reset is a solid green. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load some code in. We can load it here. We can go up to File, Load G Code. There's a wheel. Let's click it. Now it's actually going to go through the code and create a tool path that's going to read every little bit of code, check for errors, see if there's a problem. If for any reason that th this does not complete, there is a problem in that code. It doesn't like a line. Now there's our tool path. For whatever it's worth, um, this is what we're going to be cutting today. Now, if we were to actually move this machine around, you would see these crosshairs move. And then you could visually see where the edge of the material is. If you had to, you could re-zero. And here's our code. We can, we can scroll through it. As I'm scrolling through it, there's a little bit of a white line running around uh, uh, the tool path there in the geometry and you can actually see where this this machine's cutting if I go a little slower you can see that white line now this is nice if you have a screw up uh, like a your, your consumable went to hell um, or for whatever reason lightning struck your building a meteorite hit it and King Kong smashed your power grid all to hell you could actually restart here and uh, and that would be advantageous to not scrapping a piece of material. So from here if we're happy and we zeroed and we know we can cut this out by jogging it around or visualizing or we have a big plate out we can hit run. Once we hit run once it's going to set up the conditions for torch eye control. Once we hit run again it's actually going to go and it's going to start cutting. So that's a quick overview of this program. It's a great little interface. Um, there's a lot of options.